There is a rhythm to life. It's energy. The kind that scientists talk about with a capital E. The kind that cannot be created or destroyed. The kind of energy that can only change form. You, me, and all living things are dependent on this energy transformation. Sorry, this place has the best salads. But as I'm here eating lunch, I'm thinking, how much energy does it take to bring me my food? There is the energy used to sow, grow, and harvest the crops, then transport them. And prepping the food in the kitchen took time and effort. But when you consider the fact that 40% of food in the US is wasted, and the city of Chicago alone generates over 7 million tons of waste per year, you realize that a lot of energy goes unused and we don't get it back. But what can you do, right? Try this. Hold that image of that massive amount of garbage in your mind. Now, what's it doing? Taking up space? Certainly. And giving off greenhouse gases that contribute to climate change as it sits there stuck forever. Half of that pile is food and paper waste. So the parts of my lunch that I didn't finish can be composted. The food scraps get ground up and then sit in windrows while Mother Nature does her work, breaking it all down into finished compost. The food that is grown with compost yields more crops that taste better and are more nutritious. Plus, that means farmers use less chemical fertilizers, which is better for our land, air, water, and health. Composting is very much like recycling, and like recycling, you should reduce and reuse first. Buy only as much as you need. Food can be composted. Clean paper and cardboard products should just be recycled. But if you have paper packaging covered in food, most likely you can compost it. And if you didn't finish your meal, save it. Now, go forth and compost. Extend how far the energy, capital E, can go.